I'm Jackie from Roy Mama Cooks, and today I'm showing you how to make one of the easiest things in the world, popovers. Uh, I make these all the time in my house. They're a favorite. I have like maybe 10 popover recipes, well maybe 6 on my blog, but we make these often. I thought I would show you guys today how to make them because they're su super simple and I think people get intimidated by them. And I don't want you guys to be intimidated by them because they're so easy and they're so good. They're like the perfect carb. What you're going to need for this recipe are just five basic ingredients. Two room temperature eggs, extra large eggs is what I always use. One cup of whole milk, preferably whole milk works best. You're going to need one tablespoon of unsalted melted butter. One cup of all-purpose flour and a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. I usually put them both, put the salt on the flour just because I use them both at the same time. You're also going to need two additional tablespoons of butter. This is for melting into the popover pan um, so the popovers don't stick, and I'll show you that at the end. But to get started, we just need those five simple ingredients. Okay, first off, I'm going to crack the eggs into a bowl. I usually uh, use a small bowl. You don't need anything much bigger than that. I'm going to crack the room temp eggs in there, and then I just always, um, whoops, almost cracked that one on the counter. So I'm going to put those in, and then I'm going to add to that the one cup of milk and a tablespoon of melted butter. And then, um, make sure you get all that butter in there because you're going to need it. Um, and then I'm going to whisk them all together. So they're, um, so it's like everything's mixed in and it's kind of a little frothy. Okay, now I'm going to add the one cup of flour and the um, quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. Add that, and then I'm going to mix it again. And you really want to do a good mix here because um, I find that the more I mix the popovers, the lighter and fluffier they come up. And the batter should look like this when it's done. Now you're going to let the batter sit um, while we preheat the oven. So I'm going to preheat the oven to 450. And at this point, I'm going to put the popover pan in the oven. Don't mind my dirty oven. <laughs> I don't know how to clean it. So the oven is almost at 450, it's at 445, so I'm going to give the mixture at this point. It's been sitting here while the oven's been preheating one more really good whisk. So it just kind of airs it out a little bit more. And then when it hits 450, I'm going to pull out my popover pan. There it is. I'm going to pull out my popover pan, add the butter, the melted butter, this in, and we'll be good to go. I just pulled out the hot pan from the oven. The oven's preheated to 450, and I melted my two tablespoons of butter. And what I'm going to do is add this, you're going to hear it sizzle, and that is so normal. I'm going to add this to the bottom of the popover cup, and this helps ensure that the popovers don't stick. Now I'm going to um, pour about a little bit under half of a cup of the popover mix into the cup. And what I do is I just guesstimate in the beginning there, um, and at the end I'll even them all out. You see how easy this is? I mean, seriously? Okay. All right, so some of them don't look as even, so what I'll do is I'll just do a little bit more, and I take my spatula and I scrape all of it out. And just pour it into the cups to make them as even as possible. All the popover mix is now in the popover cups, and what I'm gonna do is turn on the oven timer on my uh, phone to 16 minutes. I'm gonna pop these in the oven, hit my timer at 16 minutes, and then we'll talk then. Okay, um, I just had 16 minutes, and I'm going to turn my oven down to 350, and then I'm going to hit another 15 minutes on my timer, and we'll be back. I just pulled these out of the oven. They baked for 16 minutes the first round, and then 15 minutes the second round, and look at them. They're awesome. And each time, guys, they are going to come out differently. Like, this one looks a little awkward. It actually looks like a dinosaur <laughs> with a tongue. If you leave them in the pan with the butter, then they get kind of soft on the bottom, so I just pull them out right away, put them on a plate. And I call the kiddos in. These are awesome, Mom. Cinnamon rolls. <laughs>